So let's talk about the presentation portion of major assignment four. The presentation is the second part of the assignment. And basically what you'll be doing is you will be, um, oh wow, I got it to pres present interview this time without it trying to charge me something weird. Sometimes things are a mystery to me, but whatever. Anyways, so the what you'll do is after you've written your essay, you'll take the essay and turn it into a Pecha Kocha. And that is not a Pokemon. That is just a Japanese presentation style um, that roughly tra translates into chit chat. And what a Pecha Kocha is, is it's an image driven presentation that follows a 20 slides for 20 seconds each format. And if you visit the website and the learning materials, which you should this week, you can learn more about the, the types of presentations that uh, are delivered there. Um, they're very image driven. Uh, you can watch some of the presentations yep. okay. to learn We're more about them. Um, and you'll, they're very focused on the image as part of the presentation. So um, that's the style that your presentation will be in. Now, these are it, these nights that they invite people to do these presentations on a variety of different topics, professional interests, um, hobbies, uh, you know, things that you can teach a group of people. They, um, they usually have, uh, you know, four, three or four presenters and they're gonna do uh, 20 slides for 20 seconds each. Now, for our purposes, you're just gonna need to do 10 image-driven slides for 10 to 15 seconds each. So it's Pecha Kucha style, but it's shorter, just to fit our time requirements. I don't really want for you to have to do a seven and a half minute presentation. I thought that cutting that down in half would um, be, be sufficient for you to be able to provide the profile of your organization and also provide more information. So uh, here are some specifics for the presentation. You will remix your essay into an image-based presentation, just like I was talking about. You'll need to create a voiceover now um, and, and explain to the class the professional organization you profiled and an issue relevant to that film. film. You'll need to do a voiceover because we'll need to post these um, you'll turn in a copy to the Dropbox with your essay, but you'll also post on the discussion board so that you can, I'm using air quotes here, but you can't see me, present to the class just like you would if we were in class, okay? So um, it's very important that you create a voiceover. You can use um, your phone, if it has a microphone, uh, you can uh, record um, sound on your phone and then upload it to you know, PowerPoint or Prezi, whichever you pick to use. You can use, uh, you know, the microphone. Most laptops ha uh, have microphones. Uh, if you do not have access to that technology, I need for you to email me as soon as possible. Like as soon as you watch this lecture, email me. I do have two headsets that are my personal headsets that I will let you borrow, uh, but I need to know that you need to borrow them and we gotta arrange getting them to you and getting them back to me. So I need to know like now. Okay, technically total, you're gonna to have 12 side, slides. The first and last slides don't count as the 10 image driven slides, okay? I do want you to have a first slide that'll have a title, like your name and what you're gonna talk, you know, the title of your presentation, major assignment for, you know, a profile of the American Nursing Association by Jane Smith, okay? And then I want you to have a, a final slide that will include your work cited for images that you use that are not your own in the piece or anytime you have quoted, paraphrased, or uh, um, summarized, and, and you should have an in-text citation on your slide and you should also uh, have a work cited on that presentation, uh, last slide, okay? So 10 image-driven slides that are the bulk of the presentation but you'll have a, a slide at the beginning that's your title slide and a slide at the end that's your work cited that doesn't count in those 10, all right? So here are the details on the slide slides. At, you should take at least five of the photos on your own. 
You can use your camera to take them. Um, you, if you'd like to take all five, 10 yourself, that's fine. Um, you may use five images from the web, but you must cite all of your images from the web. If you take it yourself, you do not need to cite it because it is yours. But if you borrow it from someone else, like say you pick the logo of your professional organization, you need to give credit to that website image on that website. And so you must cite that if you use an image from a website, okay? Types of images you might take. You might say, oh, I want to be a nurse. What kind of image can I take? Well, you know, maybe you have a creative picture of, you know, you take a picture of your stethoscope. Maybe you take a picture of the outside of the hospital. You know, just really get inspired by your career. What are some ways you can visually represent your, um, your organization or visually represent, you know, the career you're interested in, in joining uh, or becoming a part of? So really just get creative and think about how you could visually represent it. The design and placement of the images is up to you. You must make the appropriate rhetorical choices on your own. Remember that rhetorical triangle. You have to consider the audience, the audience, and the text, and how the context makes those things relate. Um, you need to consider the ethos. How will you assert your authority to your people? Uh, the pathos. How will you uh, appeal to your audience's emotion? The logos, how will you appeal to your audience's sense of logic? The kairos, how will you make sure you have good timing in, or in your organization? You know, these are all the sorts of things that you need to consider when you're building this presentation. So the design is up to you, the images are up to you. Now you might be asking, do we need text on the slides? Not really, I mean, you can put some text on there if you need to clarify them, but they would really be your, the bulk of what you're saying should be what you say out loud. The images should be for the visual interest, okay? So you don't have to have a whole lot written on your slides. As a matter of fact, you shouldn't. If you just send in slides with no images and just tons of text, I'll know that you didn't follow the directions, okay? So a little bit of text is fine, but they should mainly be image-driven slides, okay? So you might be thinking, okay, this is good. I kind of am feeling better about it. I think I know what I'm going to do, <sighs> but how do I do it? Okay, so you can use um, any kind of presentation software that you would like. You could use PowerPoint. I'm using Prezi for this presentation. You could use Google Slide. Anything that is going to enable you to create a presentation with a voiceover. If you have another idea other than these three, there are plenty of things out there in the world that you can use, like Explain Everything is an app that you can use. Uh, just let me know so that I know that I am able to open it on my end because, um, yeah, I might not be able to open it. So just let me know uh, what you decide to do. But the world is your oyster. And don't forget, you can go on YouTube and learn tutorials to do all of this stuff on your own. So if technology is a little bit of your weakness and you're not sure how to do, say, a voiceover in PowerPoint, just go to YouTube and type in voiceover in PowerPoint and it's going to show you how to do it. Okay? Um, there'll be some eight-year-old on there that'll just make you feel like, oh, wow, great, this eight-year-old's telling me how to record a voiceover on PowerPoint. But, you know, what can you do? It's, it's the future, right? So again, I just want to make clear that you have to have a voiceover in your presentation. If you submit an essay and then a presentation with no voiceover, and, um, and you know, and then you you will be failing. Okay, you have to have a voiceover. You must plan in advance for this. If you have problems with this, you have to let me know ASAP, and we can work something out to get you the the tools you need to do it because you have to have one. It's a requirement for the class, okay? Your classmates need to hear your presentation. If you have a webcam and you want to turn it on, that's fine, but you don't have to. I hardly ever turn the webcam on. I hate the way I look on it. It just, I, I feel like I'm, I'm better looking in person. I just hate the way I look on video. Honestly, I hate the way I sound on video too, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. So uh, if you want to have the webcam on, maybe that helps you be a better presenter. Um, because you can see your delivery, then by all means, turn the webcam on, but you do not have to if you don't want to. But you must have a voiceover. Remember, cite all the things. Paraphrase, summary, direct quote, works cited page, in-text citations. 
anytime you do any of those things, you need the things, okay? If you paraphrase, summarize, or directly quote, if you use an image from a website, you must give credit. You must cite the image from a website. That means you'll need a works cited page and you'll need any in-text citations anytime you do any of those things. So I just want to wrap this up really quick. Along the way, you might need help as you are completing these things. You can always ask me. You can ask in the comments and questions discussion board. You can shoot me a quick email. Uh, you can stop by during my office hours. You can arrange an appointment to meet in a time outside of my office hours. Uh, I'll be happy to help. Or you can visit the ASC. The, the Academic Success Center is free. There's no need for an appointment. You just drop in to one of our campuses to the Academic Success Center and say, hey, I need some help. And we will be, they will be glad to help you get to where you need to be with your project. I hope this lecture series for Major Assignment 4 has really given you some things to think about and has really helped to clear up any confusion you might be having about Unit 4 and the Major Assignment 4 um, requirement. Thank you very much. Have a great day.